Alrighty, so I would like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Mile High Duramax. Guys, this is his Instagram right here. I will have a link to his Instagram page, top link in the description. Go check him out, guys. This is the second time he has done this for me. He bought the mirrors on the cat eye, and now he has bought the mirrors for the 7.3. So we can finally get rid of these ugly, ugly mirrors. I don't know what Ford was thinking when they made those mirrors, but they looked like total booty crust. We finally didn't rent them. They're the ugliest part about my truck. We finally have headlights in. We got our steps on, we got rock lights, and wheels are coming eventually, but really, to make this thing look night and day different, we need mirrors. I wanna give a huge shout out to Denver, Mile High Duramax on Instagram. The only thing he asked me for was for you guys to go follow him. So if you aren't already, Here's a picture of his truck next to my Ford. His truck is super sick. It's a full blown out basically SEMA build that he puts a lot, a lot of attention to detail in. So many custom little pieces on that truck, not to mention it's completely custom as it is, but he goes even more into detail. So guys, go follow his Instagram, go follow the build. It is super, super sick. I will have it on this channel, uh, probably just its own video uh, in the future. So. If you guys aren't ready, go follow him. Let's get these mirrors unboxed. Of course, I already have one open because I sent pictures of it to Denver, but these are full power heated everything. Um, him and I were talking when I got the truck and I told him that the mirrors I have are manual, but I would like to do full power heated everything in the future. So what does this man do? Buys them for me. You have, I'm guessing these are conversion harnesses because you have just, this one plug right here, we get this nice massive mirror out. And I said, they're full power, full heated, and chrome caps and smoke lenses. So I will be color matching all of this eventually. All the black, I will color match. I'm gonna leave the chrome caps, I'm gonna leave the tinted lenses, but everything else is going to get color matched in the future. These look sick. They come with the isolating foam to go back behind here but of course the wonders of styrofoam it is now everywhere so let's get the other one unboxed okay so the first one had both harnesses in it so i'm guessing um if your truck isn't equipped with this you plug this in and then this plugs into something i'm not entirely sure i haven't done this before this is all new to me now let's get the old mirrors off just because I have been wanting to do this this whole time. That felt good. Ah, nice. Nice. Just how weak these mirrors are. Yeah, that or I'm, I'm, I'm a bit tough guy over here. But just a simple little punch broke the mirror. So. Nice. I would punch that, but. If you guys uh, watch Whistle and Diesel, he tends to fillet up his hands every time he does that. So uh, I preferably don't want my hands all cut up. Punching a plastic mirror doesn't hurt, but glass in your hand hurts. There are these three grommets that go right here. And then I believe this just pops off like so. And let's check behind these grommets. There's two bolts here, there's two bolts here. So let's go check and see what's on the new mirrors. If we look on the new mirrors, there's four, well there's two and two, so there's four just like on the other one. So let's get this one zipped off. Four 11 millimeters. Unfortunately, it didn't fall like I wanted it to. That it. That was that was very anticlimactic. I'm going. Oh, I just blinded the shit out of myself. Okay, let's not do that. I am going to be destroying these. Um, probably not going to do it in this video because it's going to involve a little bit of a pew pew. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to use uh, these for some target practice. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, why did you destroy those? My truck doesn't have mirrors. I'm using a makeup mirror to see behind me. I could have used those. Um, listen, 
They're on Facebook. These are on Marketplace for like $10 a, a piece because people don't buy these. They look like crap. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to empty some nine millimeter into it. Are you guys getting blinded by that? Yeah, that's what happened to me. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna empty some nine millimeter into these. And have some fun with it. Oh, you think Chevy's better than Ford? You think, you think YouTube's not a real job? You think I can't park on the sidewalk? So we've got our new mirror, and then we've got our little sound detonating piece of foam. And on this foam, there's a little cutout for this harness to go through. Um, it's not a very big cutout, but should be able to make it work. Don't worry, this is our first time. All right, now that we have that all on, it does come with new hardware, which are 10 millimeters. So we're gonna swap our socket here out. I'm gonna leave this little piece of plastic on until I get the mirror all situated. She's ready to go on. I just wanna say one thing, that sucked. Uh, not only did I break my rain guard, uh, but I can like barely get any threads through. And I don't know if you're supposed, I don't know if you're supposed to have the little weather thing on, but it came with it on. And see how far they stick out? Those like barely stuck out at all. I had such a hard time getting that through, but I finally, Finally got one on, so let's finish this job out. Okay, let's reinstall all our grommets. All right, let's give her a look. Uh, normally with tow mirrors, it's unbolt, bolt back in, and that's it. This, I had to fight and fight and fight. If I had someone else with me, it wouldn't have been, a, been as bad, but you shouldn't need two people to do a tow mirror install. So that was that was kind of aggravating. Uh, but we got it on. I'm I'm not complaining at all. I'm just I'm showing you guys the uh, the the true side of things. I'm not gonna lie to you and be like super easy install took five minutes. And actually this mirror took me 30 minutes to put on uh, and it should not have been that hard whatsoever. It's four bolts. Uh, but there are now two bolts that I lost <laughs> inside my door. Uh, we ended up reusing the hardware because I lost two of these and I wasn't in a mismatch, mismatch sizes. Uh, so we ended up reusing the old hardware and uh, two of these are now in my door somewhere. Uh, but they'll come out eventually. These look sick. Okay, now on the driver's side, we're gonna do the same thing, just on the opposite side. So over there, I hit the mirror with my right hand. This side, we're gonna hit it with my left hand. See if we did the same damage. Well, as you can tell, I'm not left hand dominant, right hand dominant. Told you guys I wouldn't do that, but I felt like it needed to be done. And I don't think I'm bleeding anywhere, so that's a good sign. Let's get this thing off.
Okay, now again, that was harder than it needed to be. Um, this one doesn't fit as good as the passenger side does. Uh, as you can tell, it's like sticking out up here. So I'm gonna try loosening this bottom some and try to get it to come up. It's sticking out a decent amount. Like you can see the gap through it versus this side, there's no gap. So I'm gonna try and get it straightened out. I am gonna get these wired up in the future. I'm gonna convert this. I'm gonna have to get a different uh, switch panel, one that has the power mirrors and see if I can, wired in factory would be preferred, uh, but if I have to manually wire it to its own power and ground, I'll do that as well. All right, after some cussing, fighting, and super glue, I have this mirror on. Um, like I said, I'm gonna ask Denver what brand these are uh, because these were not only one, a pain in the butt to get on, uh, but I was tightening them down to try and get them to be flush right here. And these mirrors are held in, let me show you on this. And they screw in to this plastic right here. So there's this plastic on these that these screw into. Well, they stripped out on the inside. So I super glued them back in. Um, three of them held this go round. This one down here stripped again. I had problems with even getting it to seat. I think it was the worst one, uh, but this one never stripped. Only three, oh, I say only, three out of the four stripped. Uh, this one didn't, but I, I put super glue on it just to be safe. Um, so it's sturdy. I did not over tighten it this go round. Um, as we can see, a little bit of play in this. Let's see how much play is in this one over here. Okay, so about the same amount of play in both, and this one didn't have any strip. So we should be fine. Hopefully this thing doesn't like fall off going down the road. Um, that would be horrible, but they do look sick. I will say that much. And guys, I'm, I'm very thankful. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because people take things like that on the internet. I'm just showing you guys uh, the honest truth behind these. Uh, besides that, I didn't have any issues with them. I mean, I don't know what other issue I would have, uh, but I've got them all lined up now. Uh, when I do my new rain guards, I'm gonna have to slide it in behind there. As you can see, sitting on top of it, it doesn't fit correctly. So the new ones will have to go behind it, but it's all in. And um, in the future, when I go through and wire these, I'm gonna find a way to uh, like put some type of like, like plastic cement or plastic weld it, fill the holes in there with a plastic welder and then retap them and glue them in. I had tried to put some Loctite in there, uh, but Loctite and plastic are two things I didn't think would combine, combine very well. So I went ahead and went up to the store, got some super glue, got the super glue put in and I let it sit for a good 15 minutes, let it fully dry. And then I tried to put it in super, super lightly. I have a pass through ratchet, which is this guy right here. You guys can see all the way through it. And then I took this and this fits right here on these little heads. So it keeps the bolt from turning. So all I'm doing is tightening it down. But of course, when you're putting pressure on it, it's trying to pull that bolt through. Um, I don't know why mirror companies, I mean, it's that way factory from Ford. This is plastic. Uh, my Chevy mirrors, uh, stock mirrors, aftermarket tow mirrors, and then the aftermarket tow mirrors that Denver bought me, they were all the bolts were into aluminum. So you would have to strip the aluminum to get it out. Um, as you can see, the factory mirrors and these aftermarket mirrors are into plastic. I don't think that's the best idea, but that's how it was made. So we finally got this back together. It's all tightened down. Um, I don't want to wrench on it too hard and tighten it down too much. So now let's pop our caps back on. Oh yeah, that, that kind of completed the look on the outside, but now now I need some bigger tires. Just now, I don't know why, but like the little mirrors right there kind of went with the small tires. Now I've got these big bulky toe mirrors on. I've got these little tiny 33s. 
So like I said, top link of the description down below will be a link to Denver's Instagram page. Guys, that's all he asks is for people to follow him on there. And like I said, this isn't like a, a charity thing where I'm like, go follow Denver because he bought me mirrors. Denver has a sick, sick build. Go follow it. It's cool to see all the different things he does. The train horns, the custom powder coating, a lot of the powder coating he does himself, which you don't see too many truck builders actually doing a lot of their own work. So many truck people claim they have the nicest truck in the game and a shop built it. And I mean, so be it, but I think in order to have a killer show truck, you should probably do it yourself because you know that's the whole part of being in the automotive scene is learning about vehicles. And how are you in the automotive scene when all you do is drive it? But hey, that's just me. That's why I'm here. I'm here to teach you guys. I'm here to teach you guys how to do things yourself, how to make nice vehicles yourself. As the truck back here, this truck right here, I teach you guys how to do it all. So if you guys want to learn, if you guys want to build your own vehicles, be able to say, I built that, go down, click the subscribe button. And guys, hopefully you enjoy the mirrors. This is the last step for the outside to get this thing looking pretty decent now like i said we still have rims and tires to do but that's going to come in the future it won't be anytime soon now we've got the outside looking pretty good i've got to replace uh the rain guards this one was already missing so i had to do that anyways but this one breaking uh just made me speed up the process a little bit so we'll get some of those ordered get them put on but this thing looks so much beefier so much beefier oh yeah she looks good. So, go down, follow Denver, drop a like on this video, and check out other videos on my channel. We're uploading three, four times a week, guys. Plenty, plenty of videos for you guys to watch. So, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.